Okay, so me and my beautiful wife, uh, we went to uh, China Buffet, I think it's called. And we got some, let's see, I got some salmon. She's too shy to be on, on the thing today. So I guess she just is taking out. But I got some salmon. Um, let's see the salmon, let's see. Pretty good. The egg rolls, shrimp, uh, some frog, or whatever it's called, and uh, pretty good. So today was a today was an okay day. Business was slow, but you know when you when you're in business, you know some days are good, some days are. So, also we have some shrimp here. Actually, it wasn't too crowded today. Yeah, it wasn't too crowded. And <clears throat> now, my wife was too, like I said, she was, she didn't want to be in the video today for some reason. She hurried up and ran the kitchen with her food. So. Yeah, so. Actually, actually the salmon is pretty good. So, you know, it, it, it's not too dry. I really like cooking my own food, but sometimes you want to go out and get your own, you know, something fast. So, uh, <clears throat> say? yeah, so there's also green peppers and potatoes chicken you know it was, it was just a variety of things I think this yeah. and, uh, I got two different egg rolls one was a spring roll and one was basically an egg roll spring roll is different I think the spring roll is that's different stuff in it. That, it has a different, way different taste. Yeah. So. And I got the Singapore. I like the Singapore because it, um, uh, there, it's not as salty. Uh, so that was pretty good. I like going to different places to try different foods. Cause there's always one place that has better food than the other. And it's always good to try new things. Today I was undecided. Uh, we were thinking about the are you gonna eat place or where are we going to the Applebee's. Applebee's is okay, but you know, to me, I think they need more dishes.
And one thing about Applebee's I like is that when they come out, the food is like piping hot. You can see the steam flying all over the place. So that's a great thing because that means that food is cooked well done. Yeah, no. And somewhere in the house, my wife is hiding to eat her food. Yeah, yeah. So I can't find her, so I don't know what she's doing. Got me doing this one video. Mm. No, well, let me see. Yeah, this is the spring roll. Pretty good. Then they got frog there. Frog basically tastes just like chicken. You know, if 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 you had it in front of your face. If somebody told you it was chicken, you wouldn't know the difference. You wouldn't know the difference. Even snake. Snake, if it's fried right, tastes just like chicken. You wouldn't know the difference. But I can tell you this. I'm not gonna. Oh huh, well, they said a lot of places, a lot of Chinese food, a lot of Chinese restaurants. Um, a while, a long time ago, they used to say that they used to go cut up cats and stuff like that. You know, if you're eating the meat, they don't look right. You know, you're not just gonna sit up there and just eat anything you see. Because more than likely, you're going to look at your food, you're going to examine it. You're going to say, well, this don't look right. So something that's not right about this meat. You know. Um, so, I don't know. What I can say is people order the, it's called chicken and broccoli. That chicken does not look right. So I always order the, the, the shrimp and broccoli with my wife. You know, it has a great taste. So, yeah, me and my wife usually order that. You know, that's our favorite dish. I don't like eating my mouth with my mouth full. So, yeah, next time you go to Chinese, place, if, if you do have the taste with some chicken and broccoli, take a good look at it. Well, I wouldn't want you to take a good look at it after you bought it because then you're going to say, you know, it doesn't look right, and then, but you already bought it. But the thing with that chicken, um, it's... It, it just don't, it doesn't taste like chicken. It doesn't uh, look like chicken. The texture of it is different. So me, me personally, I stay away from it. I, um, when I was a, when I was younger, I used to live in Trent, New Jersey. And uh, I'll never forget one night. I was uh, I was coming down Hamilton Avenue. It was a real bad street. One of the worst streets. Worst streets in Trent, New Jersey. 
But I was well known. So I wasn't worried, worried about nobody. So I'm, I'm walking down the street next to the Chinese shop. So I see all these cops. I'm like, man, what's going on there? <laughs> you know? And I'm thinking, well, maybe a lot of cops just want some Chinese food. So they bring out code racks. I'm, I'm telling you, like code racks. And it was cats hung on a code rack. Uh, there were dead cats. And I didn't understand why. And then the cop told me, he said, uh, they were chopping up cats inside the Chinese restaurant. Now, let me know, this Chinese restaurant, even though I lived around here, my mother used to always go across town. And I used to wonder, why, well, why would you go all the way across town to North Trenton when we got a restaurant, we got a Chinese restaurant right there. So I guess that's why. But, uh, yeah, it's crazy how, you know, you really don't know what you're eating unless you really look at your food. But they have exotic restaurants where you eat different animals. You know, uh, you know, but they say that the food does taste great there. You know, I've, I've never been there. One day I would like to try it. I'm not, I'm not that person. I don't care what it is, but I wouldn't want to know what I'm eating. You know, I don't, I don't know, just something about that. I just wouldn't want to know. I would want to know after I'm done eating. Yeah, so obviously, wherever my wife is at, hiding eating her food, it must be delicious because I haven't heard of one peep. <laughs> mm -hmm.